Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sir Ricky. Welcome to our mathematics class online with Philippine Organization of Mentors in Mathematics. In this episode, we're going to discuss problems in algebra, geometry, trigonometry, uh, statistics, and uh, calculus. If everyone's ready, let's go. Problem number 001, this is um, algebra. Which of the following is equal to x raised to negative 9 times x raised to 9? The choices A, 0, B, 1, C, x raised to 18, D, x raised to negative 18. For the solution, we're going to apply the loss of exponent, especially the product rule. Okay. To multiply two or more um, exponential expressions with the same base, uh, copy the common base and add the exponents. So we have um, x raised to negative 9 plus 9, okay, is equal to x negative 9 plus 9, that's 0. So x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So the correct answer is letter B, 1. Problem number 002, Steve ran a distance of 150 meters in 1.5 minutes. What is his speed in meter per hour? This is um, algebra. For the choices, A, 6, B, 60, C, 600, D, 6,000. For the solution, this is a distance problem. All right. So, our formula to be used is D is equal to RT, where D is equal to distance, R is equal to rate, and T is time. And take note, the speed is also what we call um, rate. Alright, so based on the given, D is 150 meters. Um, time, the time is 1.5 minutes. And R is a known or uh, we're tasked to find the speed or the rate of the situation. So, this is the formula. Um, 150M or meters is equal to R times 1.5 minutes. So, we're going to solve for R. So, by simple manipulation, R is equal to 150 meters over 1.5 minutes take note that uh, we're looking for the unit which is uh, meter per hour so we need to convert the 1.5 minutes to hour so this is the conversion 1.5 minutes times um 60 minutes is equals to one hour so minutes minutes cancelled so 1.5 times one that's one 1.5 over 60 that's um 0 0.025 hours so we're going to substitute it here so i now is equal to 150 meters over 0 0.025 hour so our unit now is meter per hour so 150 divided by 0 0.025 that's equal to 6000 meter per hour so the correct answer is letter d problem number 003 this is algebra. Identify the vertex of the quadratic equation f of x is equal to 2 times uh, quantity x plus 1 quantity squared plus uh, 5. For the choices, a is equal to um, 1, 2, b, negative 1, 5, c, 1, negative 5, and d is 2, negative 1. All right. Now, in this situation, we're going to use the vertex form formula of a quadratic function. Now, so, this is the vertex uh, form of the quadratic function. f of x is equal to 8 times quantity x minus h uh, quantity squared plus k, where hk is the vertex of the quadratic equation. 
Now, take note that hk is the vertex of the quadratic equation. So, obviously, the vertex is uh, hk. It so happened that uh, 1 is positive here and in our formula it should be negative. So, meaning to say, we're going to reverse the sign. So, the vertex now is uh, h. Your h is uh, negative 1 and your k is 5 remain. So, that's negative 1, 5. Okay, if we're going to um, graph this uh, quadratic function, this is how it looks like. So, this is the vertex. I want to speak of vertex. This is the turning point of the parabola. And since this is, um, and since our A is positive, it's so, one, no? A, so our A is 2 and 2 is positive. So, the parabola opens upward. Okay, so... The correct answer is letter B, negative 1, 5. Problem number 004, this is uh, algebra. What is the axis of symmetry of the parabola whose equation is uh, y is equal to 10x squared minus 20x plus 10? The choices are A, x is equal to 0, B, x is equal to 1, C, X is equal to 2, and D, X is equal to 3. For the solution, um, the line X is equal to H is, is the axis of symmetry. So, meaning to say, this is our formula to find the axis of symmetry. Um, definitely, we're going to use the vertex formula to solve for or to find our axis of symmetry. So, this is the vertex h k is the vertex and the formula is uh, for the h this is the x coordinate and this one is the y coordinate so x um h is equal to negative b over 2a and for k that's f of negative b over 2a so since um our formula to find for the axis of symmetry is x is equal to h so meaning we're only interested to find for the h and by the way, before we proceed, I think we need to reduce this um, by dividing this by 10. 10x 10 squared divided by 10, that's uh, 1 or x squared. Negative 20 divided by 10, that's negative 2. And 10 divided by 10, that's 1. Alright, so this is now in the form of uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. Where A is 1, B is negative 2, and uh, C is 1. So, we're going to use the value to solve for the axis of symmetry or the x-coordinate of the vertex. Alright, so H is equal to negative B over 2A. So, by substitution, we have negative of negative 2 because our B here is negative 2 over 2 times A is 1. That's 2. So, to simplify, we have 2 over 2 or it is equal to 1. The vertical line. By the way, when you graph the quadratic equation y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1, this is how it looks like. Since um, h is equal to 1, so meaning the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1, this is how it looks like.
When you speak of axis of symmetry, this is a vertical lines that uh, vertical line that divides the parabola into two congruent halves, and it passes through the vertex. This is the vertex of um, uh, this parabola. So the x coordinate is one, and uh, the y coordinate I think is zero. All right, zero. So this is now our um, axis of symmetry. So the equation is x is equal to 1, which is letter B. By the way, when you graph the quadratic equation y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1, this is how it looks like. Since um, h is equal to 1, so meaning the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1. This is how it looks like. When you speak of axis of symmetry, this is a vertical, lines that, uh, vertical line that divides the parabola into two congruent halves. And it passes through the vertex. This is the vertex of um, uh, this parabola. So the x coordinate is 1. And uh, the y coordinate, I think, is 0. All right, 0. So this is now our um, axis of symmetry. So the equation is x is equal to 1, which is letter B. Problem number 005. This is algebra. Which of the following is equal to quantity m to the fifth and to the fourth quantity raised to 7? For the choices, A, M, 12, M raised to 12, N raised to 11. B, M raised to 2, N raised to 3. C, M raised to 35, N raised to 28. And D, M raised to negative 2, N raised to negative 3. For the solution, we're going to use the power of power rule. Um, simply means taking an expression that is already raised to an exponent and raising it again to another exponent. Suppose we have this uh, quantity x raised to m, quantity raised to n, this is equal to x raised to mn. So meaning we're going to get the product of the exponent. Or quantity x raised to a, y raised to b, quantity raised to n, this is equal to x raised to a n. So you multiply a and n. Y, b, n. So you multiply b and n. So we have this x raised to a n, y raised to b n. So if we have this quantity m to the fifth, n to the fourth, quantity raised to 7. This is equal to m raised to 35 because 5 times 7, that's 35. n raised to 28. Because 4 times 7 is 28. So the correct answer is letter C. Problem number 006. Uh, this is algebra. What is the degree of uh, the polynomial 3x raised to 12, y raised to 4, plus 4x raised to 10, y raised to 5, minus 100x, y raised to 11? For the choices, A, 11. B, 12, C, 16, D, 42. The degree of each term in a polynomial in two or more variables is the sum of the exponents in each term, and the degree of the polynomial is the largest such sum. If you have this polynomial, um, it is composed of three terms, first, second, and third, because it is separated by plus or minus. The degree of this term is 16, because we're going to add the exponent of the exponents of the variables. Okay, so 12 plus 4 is 16. Well, this one, the degree of this term is uh, 10 plus 5, that's 15. Well, this one, the degree is uh, 11 plus 1, that's 12. Now, the degree of this entire polynomial is the largest such sum. So, meaning, the, lar the, the um, degree of this polynomial is 16. So, that's letter C.